Hey, it's the Ron and Fez show. I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, today, of course, Rex Manning Day. It's that uh, day, well, let's face it, anything can happen. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh... I guess, uh, I don't know whether to get into this right away, but uh, talking with Fez Watley, is he here today? No. Uh, and from what I understand, uh, the end of that era ended with Fez Watley singing It Makes You Fez at the uh, Ron and Fez gig at the Hard Rock. Uh, talking to him this week where he claimed to have been sick, claimed to have bronchitis, uh, heard different things that maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Talked to him last night, and basically Fez said um, he feels he's grown out of the show. Um, I don't know what happened with that song or the way the audience uh, treated him, but I guess he just uh, feels that he can do better. And uh, you know, I love the guy. I wish him all the best in the world. I'd rather have him here with us, but uh, whatever he wants to do. That's okay by me. So you're in here today, Eastside Dave. Yeah. Uh, Earl, you're uh, still with me? Yeah, I'm here with you, man. I can't hear you, Earl. you got to turn on your microphone. I'm here with you, Ronnie. Still can't hear you. Can you hear him? I can hear him. I don't hear him through my mic. So long story uh, short here, uh, Dave, is, uh, you know, we see what we can do. You know, uh, Mr. B, I think it's for the best. Uh, I know it's a tough day, but, you know, things change. And uh, I think it's just time to move on. I think it's time to go into a different era. You know, I, I mean, I'm not even uh, prepared to even talk about that yet. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm uh, still, of course, uh, slightly in uh, shock by the whole thing. But uh, you do what you do. All right, Earl, do you have your mic turned on now? Yeah. Is this going to be the new era? No. Where your mic is on sometimes, other times it's not? Yo. No, I don't know what the problem was, but... Forget that. The, the point is this. Uh, Earl, have you decided whether you're staying or perhaps you'd like to uh, see what Fez is doing next? No, I'm staying with you, Ronnie. You know, is that just because I'm in here today? Is no. that the only reason? Team Bennington's got to live on. And one Team Bennington? Team Bennington. And one thing I learned is, you know, Team Bennington is stronger. And it always was stronger, and that's... That's who survived this, and we're we're gonna make it through. You know, it. Hey, it's it, it's it's a better time. Was he ever uh, sick? I mean, does anybody know? Am I like the last one to know? Am I like the dump boyfriend where I don't even know what was going on with Fez uh, this entire time? I spoke to him on Tuesday. How did he sound? And he sounded pretty good to me. Yeah. Um, there was some. What now is obviously fake wheezing mm -hmm. in the background, and it was. You, why, why didn't you bring this up to me? Why didn't you? Tell you know, me? I, I didn't want to bring it up because I thought, you know, Fez is going through some some personal needs a couple days off. But it was really. Well, obvious. I look like an idiot. Yeah. I look like an idiot because I've been in here worrying about whether he was sick or not, and apparently. Uh, and I apologize to you about that. You know, I, you? I thought he was going to get get it together. Um, Apparently, it was time for him to sail a ship. Well, this is a, you know, it's a strange time uh, for me because uh, you look back on something like this and, uh, you know, that was your partner. Yeah. And uh, you do the great hard rock gig. Everybody has a lot of fun. Everybody loves it. And uh, How long were you guys uh, together? Running Fez show? Probably almost two years. I think we're looking at like 20 months. Jeez, so that's weird. I mean, that's that's, that's the a, longest commitment of my life with anybody. A, that's a huge chunk of time. I never even lived uh, with any of my kids for two years. Most, uh, the, I think, the longest I ever uh, stayed with any of my children was seventeen days. Mm -hmm. So this is, you know, ridiculous. All right, eight six six Ron Zero Fez, eight six six Ron Zero Fez. Uh, Jerry, you're on the Ron Fez show. Yeah, how you doing, Ronnie? Yeah. Well, I see. You lost one tenth to one percent because you're the man, Ronnie. Oh, stop. You know what? I'm not you're even thinking of it. That's my partner, and those were great days. What I like to do, I don't know whether it's too early to get into this, but I'm going to talk to Mikey Boy. I know he's busy with Rex Manning Day. I like to look at a box set. I would not mm. mind putting together a Ron Fez box set. I'm making a little kick off of that, making a little money. I can't watch the um, bus falling off the bridge. 
Have you seen this from Atlanta, the ball no. team? It's a baseball team. They're traveling from Atlanta, going over the overpass. Whoops. <gasps> Boom. Six guys dead. Okay. Now, that is your... Uh, always your fear when you're in a bus that some idiot doesn't, you know, the bus driver doesn't know what he's doing. And the next thing, anytime you're over an overpass, going off of it. Who can even sit around and think about stuff like that? I don't know. Speaking of Mikey Boy, I guess we'll uh, talk to him uh, in a little bit about uh, American Idol. There's the big American Idol vote off last night of uh, four kids. One girl cried her way out, proved that she wasn't a singer at all. They have got to stop that, you know, post getting kicked off the show song. Because that girl, that was terrible. It was terrible. Well, here's what I love about it. Hear that. If you only had one shot at your, in your life to sing a song in front of 30 million people, right. you know, that is everything that most people uh, work for. And she blows it. She proves she wasn't. But there was something about her I found incredibly cute. But you don't ask, like, the loser of the Super Bowl to then get up and do, like, a tap dance or something like that. But my the point guys is, are devastating. you're still winning. You're having your opportunity to sing in front of 30 million people. Yeah. You're not somebody who worked your whole life in there. You're a ham and egger who won a contest. <laughs> That's like, uh, oh, I got asked to be on the Letterman show, but since I'm not going to join forever, I'll do a bad set when I walk out there and start crying. Uh, Mike, Mike, you're on Fez. I'm sad, man. It's a sad day. I'm, uh, I'll have to admit to you, I haven't been listening that long, but maybe a couple months here, and uh, I've fallen in love with the show. I love that colorful little guy. And yeah. he's gone. Well, yeah, Fez is gone, but let's not uh, dwell on the negativity. He did some great stuff for us, and we're always uh, going to remember him. Kurt, you're on Fez. I, uh, I was just saying, Fez, it seemed like the last few weeks he's just been, I don't know, he wasn't talking as much, you know? I noticed that, too. And I guess in the back of his mind, he was plotting and planning for uh, his next move. And I don't want to be bitter about that. I want to be just happy uh, for the time we were together. How many times do we go out to, to lunch and it ended up being Ron, Earl, and Dave? Right. And Fez said, you know, I don't want to have... Meat. I was always thought that that's because he didn't want to pick up the tab. Right. I Now, looking back on it, I don't think that was the case. I think he just, he was slowly separating himself from us. Yeah. Uh, Terry, you're on Fez. Hey, remember a long time ago, I said it should be the Ron and Eastside Dave show. Who are and you? That's the way, Terry. Uh, no, I have no, I don't recall anything with you. And as far as Eastside Dave goes, everyone knows I love the kid. But he's just not good enough to be my partner. No. I will be out looking. I mean, we do have chemistry, though. That's obvious. I think, uh, you know, some more than... I can't think of any. Maybe even you and Fez, really. Okay. Uh, i got to tell you the truth. Uh, I don't think I have chemistry with anyone. And oh. that's the exciting thing about this show, is there is no chemistry. Okay. It's almost, uh, you know, that oil and water. It's a divide. It doesn't work right. By the way, you had a little uh, American Idol news for us about the Taylor Hicks album, Earl. What's the story on that? Yeah, the record has officially shit the bed. It will not. Wow. Literally took a shit in the bed. Yeah, um, it looks like it'll be the first uh, Idol record not to go platinum. It's just gone over uh, 640,000 copies, and it's not even in the top 100 anymore, album-wise, album charts. Now, did you read an article about this? Uh, have you talked to any of your friends in the uh, business? I know you got a lot of record guy friends. What's happening there? Well, I mean, I think it was just a combination of things. Like, whenever a record is delayed, that's always a flare that... This, it's not a good record. When you right. have to keep stinks. pushing, it stinks. You have to keep pushing the record back. I mean, right, let me uh, bring something up to you guys. Okay. Who always brags about being the having all the American Idol champions? What state always acts like they're the big daddy? Alabama. Alabama. Now let's go back uh, through Alabama. Uh, Ruben is a winner. He basically becomes a flop as an actor. Yeah, he's a no name. The guy who finished second uh, shot past him. Uh, after that, Bo Bice, he delivered an abortion uh, and is not uh, doing well. And now this uh, gray-haired bastard. So I think those people in Alabama, what they do is they're so fucking, because uh, they've got nothing else to brag about, it's just constantly calling out uh, Idol, trying to win, trying to win. But there's no market for these fucking Alabama guys. They're like Seattle Mariners fans who go insane during All-Star game, and they just fucking go nuts with the balloting. And you end up seeing four or five Mariners on the team, even right. though they're perennially like in third or fourth place. And and the Mariners never win a championship, neither do these Alabama idol people. Uh, John, John, you're on my face. Three, two, buddy. Three, hey, two, buddy. What's happening? Fez is gone. 
This is horrible. Oh, I just... Stop it. I'm not going to be set around mocked for it. You know, I don't want to tell the phone screeners how to act, but uh, how about... Uh, Man, I, every time I look up and see this thing on TV, I, I might have to turn off the TV. It's so horrible. It's so terrible. Uh, all young guys in this uh, college uh, in Ohio Jeez. are traveling through Atlanta. Uh, the bus driver, some kind of mistake, goes over the overpass. Six guys get killed. Now, how come there wasn't like a concrete barrier on the overpass? There was. Oh, but they I, just... guess, I guess he hit it going hard, thinking he was going straight. Uh, went up and over the overpass. They've got the thing here. They've got the uh, the the little CGI thing that you can watch. Yeah, I, even I can't even watch it. It's just horrible. Yeah. Uh, Kurt, Kurt, you're my Fez. Hey, how you doing, man? Yeah. You know, my uh, my brother was on that bus. Luckily, though, he's okay. Uh, my parents are on the way down there now, and I'm um, here. The sad part about it, I was talking to him. And, you know, I don't know if he's in shock or what. You know, cause it's kind of odd talking to him. He's not really sounding too distraught, but. I mean, they lost their entire infield and one outfielder. Wow. You know, all, all he, college all, kids. All, yeah, and all he's doing is jumping up and down now because he's got more playing time. What's it like to be awful? What's it like to be an awful person? I don't know. We got a lot dealing with here. Can we yeah. just keep it, you know, let's keep it positive. Let's look to a, a brighter star today. What's, that doesn't even make sense. I'm just trying to cheer you up. But that doesn't Ron, even make sense. I'm just trying to roll with Team Bennington today. Yeah, I don't want you to. All right. Uh, Patrick, you're on Fez. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. Hey, I was wondering if you were going to maybe have some tryouts, like maybe uh, let Big A have a try at taking Fezzi's place, or maybe Bronx Johnny. Or before I, I even get into that, I went. Uh, you know, I'm I'm calling the agent and re yeah, rene renegotiating some contracts because I should have some big cash coming my way. I don't blame you. Should have some big cash coming my way. But anyway, I. Uh, I agree. Uh, you know, let's not even worry about it yet. Let's see what happens as time goes on. Uh, basically, uh, if you just tune it in, Fez Watley apparently faking sick uh, and has uh, moved on. Says he's outgrown the show. And not only that, he says, I've outgrown, and this was his quote to me, those fucked up XM listeners. So take that any way you want, ladies and gentlemen. Take that any way you want. Brent, Brent, you're on a Fez. Hey, Ron. Yeah. Hi. Uh, he hasn't left the show, or he hasn't uh, got out of the show. He, he he left the show for one reason. Yeah. That's because he gave you that shitty Christmas gift of the ashtray. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have Big A take a shit in that and then put it in a package and mail it back to uh, Fez. And I don't want to make a big thing about what Fez said to me. I guess I shouldn't have said, but I did. Yeah. He says, Ron, I'm moving on to bigger and better things. I don't want to deal with those fucked up. XM listeners, and basically he said it's like being on XM is like giving a, a pile of shit a headphones and then trying to do a show for them. I noticed sometimes when you would go to the phone call, yeah. he would flip the uh, phone screen, the finger, yeah, and yes. I was like, you know, the, the people time. can't even see you doing that. Yeah, it was just such a weird vibe. You know, that's behind the scenes stuff. I'd rather not talk because right. I never say anything bad about anyone. All right. That's my thing. My mistake. I wish him the best to go on to bigger and better things, Fez. I hope you get everything you want. Chad, you're on Fez. Yeah, Ronnie, is it is it just me or did Kelly Pickler get her a, get her a new rack last night? Did you uh, notice that? It looked like she had new breasts and also looked like she had a new ass. The ass was enormous. The ass was absolutely gigantic. She was falling out of that dress. Yeah. It's wonderful. Uh, Don, Don, you're around Fez. Hey, buddies. Yeah. Uh, I think you're looking the wrong direction here. Fez was so great, it's going to take two people to replace him. I suggest uh, J-Dubs and LFA. 5,000. Change the name of the show to 5,000. I could be in the hideout. Or you, I'd love to be in the hideout. I mean, Ron 5,000 sounds futuristic. You know what I want to do is I want to take my name off the show. Oh, just, just I just want to be more like one of the players. Oh. Just one of the players. Kind of like when Ted Nugent went to damn Yankees. That same thing. Hey, I'm no longer the Motor City Madman. Okay. You know? Yeah. I'm not going to wango tango. I am just part of the damn Yankees now. Uh, John, John, you're on my face. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. You know, I wish you wouldn't. Uh, I wish you'd be the bigger man here. Mm -hmm. and not burn your bridges with Fez. I mean, 
the last couple of weeks he broke down and cried in the studio, and he was just asking for a hug, and instead you guys just kind of made a bit out of it, you know? I right. think you need to take him a little more serious. Interesting point. Interesting I'm, point. I mean, just... You can't Stay baby it. I went. Now hold on. Now how do you handle that when someone starts crying? You do what? You give him you, a big hug. I mean, I'm not even a homo, but you know, through the radio, I wanted to give the guy a hug when he was just carrying on. A hug and what? Like just uh, cuddle his oh, balls maybe. and just sit there. What do you do? Well, because no, I've never been part fun. of that. I've always been with chicks. So when you yeah, hug I a guy, mean, how does that happen? Yeah, I hug him. You give him a, like an Italian kiss on the cheek. You know. Mm. Ass cheek. Uh. Well, I mean, if you're there, I guess so, but hmm. but just give the guy a chance. Give him a chance to come back. Don't just just don't throw him off the show because he had an outburst. I mean, he's an emotional type of guy. The interesting thing is, I know if Fez is here, he'd be thinking of you as another fucked up XM listener. Just a pile of shit with headphones. Well, that, see, that that's what pisses me off. Yeah, that pisses me. That's the only part that made me mad, that he turned on you, the listeners. And uh, I don't make a big deal out of this day, but you know I do everything I can do for the listeners. I put them first. Yeah. Well, is that old-fashioned? No. Is that old-fashioned? It's called having a heart. Is it? Yeah. And, I mean, how would you how would you feel if you heard your listeners described as a pile of shit with headphones on? I'd be hopping mad. Yeah. And and I don't blame you for not hugging him after he says that. I don't is know that the hug. type of person know. you want to hug? I don't know how to hug, guys. You know what? I was so excited. It's Rex Manning Day. I wanted today to be like a really uh, big, fun show. We can still make it happen. All right? We just got to move on. Look, things happen in life. The seasons change. They do? To... Yes, autumn. Because I lived in Florida, and it was just the one season. Hot. Well, in the Northeast. and the... There's different uh, seasons? Middle America. Yeah, there's four seasons. Then you get out to the West Coast. Right, hold on. Let's go to the okay. season. Uh, baseball. No, goes into football. No, uh, and then what? No, what, basketball. Uh, the, yeah, those are sports. But what is the other? What's the spring season? That would be uh, WNBA. But those are sports. So you honestly, to me, my worst season is WNBA. I love all the other seasons. Can't stand WNBA. Those are sports. There's actual seasons, though. They have seasons, right? Yes. Todd, Todd, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hi, Ronnie. It's me, Fez. Um, I just I, I, I used a crazy name just to get through. Ronnie, you can't do this show. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. I don't know whether that was a crank caller or who it was, but uh, he sounded insane. He sounded absolutely insane. Today is not the day for that. I don't go for crank callers. Don't do the joke impersonation voice. Yeah. And I don't like that at all. Uh, David, David, you're around in Fez. Hey, what's up, Ronnie? Yeah. Um, I think that North Carolina should be listed as the uh, winners, uh, the all-time winners of uh, American Idol. We've had four people come out of that show, one of which was a winner and shit the bed in Fantasia Barina, but we've had Kelly Pickler, who's the... Uh, the sweetheart of the country music. We've had Chris Daltrey and we've had Clay Aiken. And also, I want to say, uh, the Gail O and Ronnie B show sounds very wonderful as well. All right, so you think uh, NC uh, should get it first. Hmm. Uh, the problem is Fantasia, or as uh, early as ago, Farina. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. she, she's flopped, right? Yeah, this, this so her, bad she's going to Broadway. Yeah, her recent record just really tubed out. Not really out of the box. It did not do well at all, and she's right. doing uh, was it the Color Purple now on Broadway? Has uh, she started that over there? Uh, I believe it, it. Her preview performances just started. Oh, you want me to take you to that, and we'll sit there and we'll cry and watch the Color People. It's the Color Purple, and it has color. What's the name of it? The Color Purple. It's not the Colored People. No, it's the color purple. Purple. Well, they're not purple. They're black. Yeah, I like to get over and change that show right away. I'd love to get back and change that show. Uh, here is uh, Monica. Oh, is this Monica from Chicago? Hey, guys, this is a really sad day. You know, I really miss Dad Gift Idea Fest. Yeah, me too. It's just terrible. I, I, I miss him already, and it's only been a week, so... 
I don't know. Hopefully he'll come to his senses and come back. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll just have to be a fucked up XM listener just See, listening to you guys. Don't put yourself down with that. That's <laughs> that's the Fez mentality. That's it's, the way he is. Just he hurts people's morale, though. That's the thing. And that, morals. He hurts people's he does. morals. He does do that, too. So it's baseball into football. No. Into basketball. Those are... Uh, into the uh, WNBA. Sports seasons are different than... Doug out, Doug. Winter you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hi, guys. Hey, Doug. Um, now that Fez is gone, can you tie up a loose end for us? Yeah. Uh, can you tell us whether or not he really was, you know, gay? I'll tell you the truth. The guy was a pussy magnet. And I have paid for... 19 separate abortions that that man's been involved in because uh, he loves them and leaves them. Well, that's something you can look forward to. Yeah. Not having to spend $1,000 every day, you know, going Not to one of those clinics. Much no, it was much cheaper. Oh, right okay. It's three and a quarter. Well, still. Ever doing the... Uh, ever doing the ride home? Have you ever asked for a blowjob? I've done that once. And got it. As saying, this is a way to prove our love. I never experienced that. I have. Brian, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Yeah, Ron, I just saw on the internet, uh, Fezzy got a job with that lady that was on the show last night, Tony Ryder. Tony Ryder. Thank you. Is uh, Tori Rydell. What's with John sending everybody to us, too? Earl, do you ever talk to the PDs and try to work shit out? Yeah, I mean, I, I tried, actually tried to call him this morning. And he wouldn't take your call? He w he was off today. Hmm. Uh, Tommy, Tommy, you're on the Run of Fez show. Actually, it's Fezzy, and I am Tommy? So part of this show. Tommy? I don't want you doing the show without me. Tommy, can you hear me? I can hear you. See and me. Tommy? No, no. Tommy? I will come down there if I have to, but this is my show still. Tommy? This is my show. Tommy, can you hear me? I can, can hear you. Head? Yeah. See it was his phone call to bring down. Why would it be funny to bring the song down? They're fucked up XM listeners, but they're my phone. There you go. You're like a person. Now you go back up. You try to ride it a little bit. You try to act like you're Fez for a second. See Tommy? Tommy. I can hear you. Don't do that show without me. I swear I'll come. Tommy. I'm sick, but I will come down there. Wow. I might be going crazy, but during that Who song, I thought I heard Fez. What's wrong with you over there, Dave? What do you mean? I'm not being able to run with the bit. What happened? I am. You did not. When you got to get fucking yelled at in the middle of the call, does it's not running with the bit. I'm going to tell you the truth. I miss Fez. I honestly do. And I wish he didn't turn on your listeners. I wish he was still with the show. Forget about Fez. I wish he would call. And do a real call. Uh, here's uh, Dwayne. Dwayne, you're on Fez. Hey, bud. How you doing? Uh, well, I'm, I'm a little torn here, Ron. I mean, part of me says, you know, fuck him. You know, he yeah. had his chance to talk. He could have come on the show and talked, you know? You don't need to call in and whatnot, but then part of me says, you know, I kind of want to hear it. You know, I kind of want to hear his explanation. We're all torn right now. There's no doubt about it. We're all torn. I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't, you know, I mean... Ride I the levels on him, Dave. Talk. I'm not torn. I mean, I think it's, uh... You, you think it's what? I think it's a good thing. I think it's t it's just a little fresh air. And that no matter who What's you're... a little fresh air? This turning of the guard... Turning of the guard? Of the screw, changing of turning, the guard, whatever. Turning of the screw is what's going on here. You know what I'm saying. Private Pile, you're on the air. Hey, Ron, how's it going? It's It's been a while. I, I've been keeping out of trouble, trouble with uh, Kane and everything. Pile, where were you? Why weren't you at the Hard Rock last I, Friday? I, I Was that the um, fight thing? Yeah, that where you, were you? Where were you, though? Because I was going to I was going to come up to New York, but I've been uh, I've been having some uh, problems with this some medicine I've been taking. What medicine are you on right now, Private Pilot? Uh, uh, lithium, and it's actually not doing anything. So and I I, I don't really care because um, I like it when Kane's out all the time. Uh, you have split personalities, right? 
Correct. <laughs> one is Pyle, and then you have another person. Kane. Kane, who is who? Uh, well, the wrestler, and uh, I turn into him. I hear his voice. Mm-hmm. And I, he tells me to do things. If some, mainly only if somebody uh, say, say somebody would come up to me and, and it's happened before and like hit me, just hit me out of the blue, I would go off. Kane, Kane would. Yeah, but I don't understand how you could hear a voice of somebody who's actually alive. Normally, it's a fantasy character or a historical character. Oh no! Well, see, yeah, I hear his voice. I mean, like he tells me things. I mean, and, and it's been with me since, uh, I can remember as back in, uh, since 1997. Mm-hmm. So, but I'm, I mean, I've been trying to get up to New York. It's just, so you were, you knew who Kane was before he even came to the WWE. Exactly, before he was created. Now, didn't he, he look, did he look like Kane? No, 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 I, I just, uh, I know who Kane is, but I hear, you know, his, you know his voice. Yeah, and and then I also his voice plus his strength and my strength. Right. So, so I could, mean, you, I, could you turn into your other personality, Kane, right now? Oh yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you want to? I mean, yes, yeah, so I'd like to talk to Kane now. Okay, uh, hold on. I have to. Usually, when he likes to come out, he likes me to uh, hit m myself. Okay. Should okay, we say so something to make you angry? Oh no, you don't have to do that. I, okay. So I'll just do that right now. Yeah, all right. Hey, this is Kane. What's going on, Ron? Oh, Kane. My God, that was so frightening. It's yeah. Kane. Yes. So what happened to uh, Fez? He left the show. K Fez, I don't understand what's going on with him. I'm kind of mad about that because he called us uh, fucked up listeners. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, so, but you're actually, you're the best talk show host anywhere on on the radio. Kane, I can't thank you enough. You know, I know a lot of people call you the big red machine. They right. think that you uh, burned a girl up. But you've been nothing but, but kind to me. Well, because we, we like you. Thank and, you. Uh, because when, when we, uh, I came in the studio in uh, WJFK. Can I talk to Pyle again? Yeah, sure, one second. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. This is Pyle. Pyle, hey. that Kane is so nice. He really is. Well, Let me talk like to Kane me. again. Okay. Yeah. This is Kane again. Hey, Ron. Kane. Hey. So, um, yeah, um, what were you telling him, uh, talking to Pyle? Oh, don't you worry about it. He'll tell okay. you later. Yeah, well, we collaborate when we... Uh, uh, but we have meetings during out in the day if when one's out if we uh, have meetings. To you know what I'd like to do with you, Kane, uh -huh. or or am I talking to Pyle? Kane, right now. Here's one thing I'd love to do. I'd love to have you guys recut one of the old Simon and Garfunkel songs, so I could hear you singing together. I've never heard of them, or that's uh. Well, it's just a duo. If we could have you do a duo, it would be great. Even if it was Sonny and Cher. I got you, babe. Right. And yeah, then I, I, after I that, that, I wouldn't mind hiring Kane to go out and look for Fez. Yeah, I not. If you had uh, had me go out and find him and then uh, drag him back into the studio. That would be fantastic. Yeah, I no, really, I am coming up to New York because I want to um, take all the, uh, the uh, sh people on the show out to dinner. Oh, that would be that would be lovely, Kane. Kane is always so generous. And uh, if and if I when I come up to New York and uh, I'll be your bodyguard and you you point out to somebody and yeah. I'll go and just uh, take him out. That would be great. I could just have you beat up people for me. Yeah, no, I'll do that, and then I, I'll get away with it because I'm mental. I know you will. Yeah, and uh, but no, uh, only if somebody is uh, threatening you or anything like that. So. Mm hmm. But I, I think a, a good show, too, would be, um, like one caller said, is uh, the hideout people. Oh, uh, wouldn't that be great? Yeah, and then um, did I was going to call you about what, did you, you had that, uh, the 23rd, you had that uh, th with Eastside Dave and yeah. the writer? Yeah, it was that. fantastic. Eastside the only thing Dave. was missing was you, Kane. Well, that's what I was going to say, is that I, I was, uh, too bad I didn't get up there and I could have been on the card. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you later, okay, buddy? Okay, have, have a good one. Five All right. Thousand. I love those guys. They're so nice. At first, you'd think you would be afraid of Kane. Mm -mm. 
Lovely man. They make a lot of sense, too. He's a gentleman. Yeah. He is a gentleman. Uh, Luke, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, uh, Ron, I got a question for you, man. I mean, we, we, we had the soundboard Fez, and, and now I'm just starting to doubt myself. Was, sweat, was Fez even real, or was he just some kind of sweet, sweet dream, man? It does now, in hindsight, seem like a dream. Like that season of Dallas. Like maybe all of us have been in the shower all this time. Dream dreams, have, uh, dreams a, have to it's end, a though. Nightmare fantasy. It's a nightmare fantasy. It's 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 so it's so mystical and dreamlike now. Isn't it uh, fantastic? Thank you. Uh, you know what? Um, let's go over here to Jeff. Jeff, you're on Fez. How's it going? Yeah. I'm I'm really irritated, man. I just renewed my XM subscription, and now Fez is gone. I don't even like Opie and Anthony. Why do you guys? Why do you, you have guys. to sit around and attack, Jeff? This is a time I'm that we should all be pulling I'm just, together I'm just upset. instead of uh, attacking. You know, maybe sometimes Fez is right about some of the listeners. Some of the listeners may be. Uh, Jim, Jim, you're on Fez. Ron, I got a great idea for your new partner. Yeah. He, he works great with others. He's mm -hmm. a consummate professional, tons of experience, the pride of CBA and the Jersey Shore, Mr. Tony Reale. I would love to do the show with Tony Reale. bitch. You better not. You well, better not. He doesn't know radio. He doesn't know yeah. what it's like to be on Team Bennington. He's a great broadcaster. Uh, he's a guy I feel like I could go one-on-one -on -one with. And when he's mad at me, he can shut off my mic, but I'll keep on talking. And it won't matter. He's already shut me off and de uh, deducting points. And then when I'm good, he can give me even a couple of more points, sometimes even two or three. Tony Reale. No. Strongest thing going today. Absolutely not. You don't want someone with a fake accent. And you think Tony Reale is going to take one of your cowbells? Uh-uh. Because he don't know the passion. You know, I haven't thrown cowbells anymore since Lent. I'm the only one who did not ruin their Lent. I didn't ruin mine either. You ate cheese. Yesterday, Earl took the angle of when he gave up cheese for Lent, it was only cheddar cheese. Which he did not specify. Yeah. He said, I give up cheese. Then he ordered a slice of pizza. And we said, there's cheese in that. He goes, oh, no, cheddar cheese is cheese, whatever the hell that means. It doesn't even make sense at all. Uh, Tim, Tim, you're on Fez. Hey, man, it's great to talk to you. Thanks, you're my brother. hero. Yeah. Um, you know, Fez, uh, you talked about the fucked up XM listers. Yes. Well, man, this is coming from a guy that has seven dicks in his ass in room for eight. Now, how fucked up is that? I wish I would have had that. I wish I would have had that line ready. I, I said I was too stunned. But if I could have just said back to him, mm -hmm. you've got yeah. seven dicks in but, your uh, ass. You're ready for Hey, one? you guys are great. Thank you. Especially you, Ron. Thank he, you. At, at this time, I need friends. I'm friends with, like that last call. I'm with you. I'm I don't want you. you to make it all about you. Why don't you have a great line for me like he did? To, I'm never ready for Fez when he goes off on one of his tirades like that. I never know what to say. Apparently, if you just tuned in, Fez was faking sick for a week and has, as he put it, moved on. Wants to go to greener pastures, bigger and better things. That's our Fez Watley. Well, it's the time to talk to a friend, somebody who's always had nothing but wisdom for me, Stalker Patty. Hello, Stalker Patty. Okay, actually, this is Fezzy again. And you know what? I, I have not outgrown the show. Rude and rude. Oh, hi, big A. You know, I still have seven dicks in my ass. I will come down there if I have to. It's just that I've been sick, and I have not outgrown the show, and I don't want you doing the show without me. I really have to say this, Fez. Uh, I'm a little turned off that you would call and make it feel like we had a big guest, Dr. Patty. Just to do another one of your crank calls. Well, it's not a crank call. It's a, it's a plea. Let me say something back to you. Did you not say fucked up XM listeners and it's like talking to a pile of shit with headphones on? Who knows with the fever, Ronnie? I couldn't have yeah. said anything at this point. Who knows? I was really on death's door at this point. Did you even go to a doctor? Because from what I heard, you've been out. Stepping out, having fun. No, I did go to a doctor. I had bronchitis. I was suffering with bronchitis. I've been on medication. Bronchitis? That's gibberish. That's not even a real disease. You get that yelling at a Knicks game or That's a basketball true. game. It's it, it's just it, drink some tea with honey in it. Bye bye bronchitis. My lungs were completely filled with fluid. Come. No, not come. Well, then how do they get so filled up? I don't know. It's some sort of biological thing. Is this? 
Patty, really? No, it's not Stalker Patty. It's Fezzy. It's Fezzy. Don't you know me? It's yeah, Fezzy. my dad used to give me chicken livers. This is Stalker Patty's new character? No, no, it's Fez. And I swear I will have to... JT, you're on with Ron and Stalker Patty. Yes, Ron, it's good to hear your voice, Dave. Always love to hear you. I was, that's what I was wondering, why Stalker Patty keeps calling up saying that she's fed. I just don't understand. Stalker what Patty is fantastic. Stalker Patty. Hey, Great work. It's Fezzy. I just used that as a fake name to get through the phone screener. The phone screener is Bronx Johnny. Well, I know, but apparently I was having trouble getting through, so I had to come up with a fake name. And I, uh, I'll tell you what, I will come down there if I have to, but do not give away my part of the show. We're going to have somebody else come in here. No, don't you do it. Someone with a working heart. Patty, yeah. stop getting so upset. You're not going to co-host the show. What did you just say? Someone with a working heart. Wow. Well, well no, but he that's left, offsides, he left, isn't it? He left you to dry. That's offsides, isn't it? He left. Really look, good. look at Earl. Earl, don't stand up. It's a fucking radio show. What do you got to say for yourself? No, you know that was way off base, Dave. Whoa! Way off Wait base. a second. What's Here it goes. What's off base? Finally, today's the day. Fez let Earl, let Ron hang to dry today. I can't believe it. I, I mean, sick, you pasty redhead. <laughs> I, bronchitis is nothing. Bronchitis is just <coughs> when you have a sore throat. Yes, but you attacked his heart attack. I yes. got close because you should still be in here. It's a year's gone by. We loved you. We loved. Past tense. <laughs> and no, it's not funny. It hurts me. To, it fucking kills me that you left us. And that's that's the way we got to be treated. And Rob begged and treated like an orphan. No, I'm fine. If I'm off sides, I don't want to be wrong. What's that mean? I thought, you are wrong. If offsides is right, I don't want to be wrong. Offsides isn't it, right. It still doesn't make any sense to leave my heart out of this. You, yeah, you, don't, you don't attack a man's condition. The guy had a heart attack. I, attacked, attack a ben, I attacked a Benedict Arnold. I attacked a traitor any fucking day of the week, girl. <laughs> I attacked an open wound. Heart exploded. How do I know you aren't faking that now? <laughs> you obviously have a history of faking illnesses and not coming You're into the emotional. show. You're emotional. You're emotional. I'm emotional, dude. I mean, what the hell? You fucking break up the team? What's wrong with you? Because he was some it's the Ron Fez show and he left. And now it's, it's gone, man. Fine, so be it. You're literally at the fucking end of the line. You're like a mad dog. I'm going to stick up for you, Roddy B, any day of the week. That's what I do. You don't even make sense. I'm making sense. And hey. Earl? But even through that hurt, you don't attack a man's condition, like working hard. The man had a heart attack. He I has got, a stent in. Hey, I, you always attack your friends and your brother's hardest. And that's the way I used to feel about I Fez. Never did. That's I, the way I used to feel about Fez. Why don't you just throw a brick at my chest? I wouldn't do that. Yeah. But I tell you what, next time we... We see each other eye to eye. I don't even know if I can look at you. The passion is gone. I am coming down there, and I want you out of my chair. Yeah, Dave, why don't you just give him, give him a heart punch while you, when, you, when you see him? Why don't you just go after him right well, there? Well, it looks like we know who you're going with, huh, Earl? Seriously, man. Get off the show, then. You fucking get off. We got Johnny or Pitsy to push buttons. Oh, jeez. Play songs. Oh, God. The new uh, Rod and Fez show. How could it be? If All right, it's the new Rod show. And Fred's. It's Rod and Fez. And it's I want to Fez. call it Damn Yankees, because I just want to fold back and just be part of the band. Uh, here's our friend uh, Fred from Brooklyn. How you doing, Fred? Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah. Ron, Dave. And listen, I was at that show the other night, and he fell back onto the mat. I thought he got hurt, but then he looked up, and I saw him catch eyes with Happy Typing Girl. And just say, fuck all this, I can't take it anymore. Hey, I, Fred, I, are you sure you weren't uh, too busy getting fucking a handy from uh, oh, somebody's no, check? Between strokes. I saw this between strokes. <laughs> By the way, somebody told me that, uh, what's her name, Melly, has not surfaced since oh, this man. came out. And uh, I'll throw this out for your board gossip later, uh, Dave, is that uh, you know that you uh, heard that other story. Uh, that's going on right now about, uh, I, for, I forgot where I was going with it, but Fez? Yes? Is this really you or is this Patty? No, it's me. It's Fez Watley. Fez Marie Watley, your partner. Yeah. Mm. I'm not sure. Me 
Uh, here's uh, Larry. Larry, you're on Ron Fez. Hi, Mr. B. It's a sad, sad day. I was one of XM's first million subscribers, and I guess I've been fucked up my whole life, man, but it's a sad, Don't sad take day. it out on yourself. Don't let this guy get in your kitchen. Not going so to happen. I love the XM listeners. You're my lifeline. Thank you. Uh, hey, uh, Bobo. Bobo, you're on Fez. Yeah, hi, you buddy. Yeah, buddy. Um, the uh, members of the D.C. fans of the damn Yankees show yeah. the get together tomorrow. Uh, are you still there? Yeah. Oh, so I heard a funny noise. At a, a place called Dr. Dreamo's on Clarendon Boulevard in Arlington, Virginia. And uh, if you go to ronfez.net, in the ronfez.net lounge section. Bobo. Um, you know we're always ready to plug, but this isn't the time. Not is today, it? man. This is not the time to plug. Quit thinking of yourself, Bobo. I just figured it's you know it's for the Ron and whoever comes along. You know this has turned right. into the plug show. Plug this room. Plug this gig. Don't forget the Muji's parties tonight at Bar Nine. It's all about plugging. Well, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be disrespectful. I just thought you know some people need to get together and heal over this. It's uh, all right. It's so painful. I don't understand. Why does it take so long to find out how to go to the party? Players' uh, Lounge, uh, blah, blah. It's just, it goes on and on. It's a labyrinth. Yeah, I'm a stammering idiot. I'm sorry. Where is the party? What happens? Okay, it's at Dr. Dreamo's in Arlington, Virginia. And you can get information on ronfez.net in the lounge section. Okay, buddy. And I'm sorry for my verbosity. I don't even know what that word means. I don't either. I just think I just made it up. All right. See you later. Love you. It means plug. Huh? I think it means plug. Oh, Patty. Fezzy. It's Fezzy. You don't even sound sick to me. I'm getting better. I've been recuperating all week. See. How do you take a week off? That's not sickness. That's a vacation. That, as soon as you say sound sick, he puts on the cough <coughs> voice and everything like that. True. This is me. I'm still recovering from bronchitis. Uh, Rick, you're in front of Fez. Hey, Ronnie. I thought maybe uh, you would have had Pat Opie in there today. Uh, so I get with you. Patrick, my best friend. Jerry, you're in front of Fez. Hey, you've been carrying that uh, dead weight for a long time, Ron. You know, you are the show. No, yeah. not anymore. Now I'm just part of damn Yankees. Right. And I'm happy with that. <laughs> you okay, Dave? You were screaming earlier. I just f I feel upset. I feel sick. You feel like Earl turned on you? I feel he did. I feel like he turned on the damn Yankees, man. And then he stands up like he's going to do something, but doesn't say a word. It, you know, it's it's a new fucking era, dude. It's the damn Yankees. You don't like it, get the hell out. Todd, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, fella. Yeah. Hey, just want to say that I love Fez to death, but... Dave, you asked if you don't settle down, you're going to catch bronchitis yourself, and they're going to lose you, too. No, if Dave catches bronchitis, he'll be in here every day. Right. Because I stick with Team Bankton. I stick with D.Y. That's damn Yankees for sure. I stick with the teams that We're I'm not here. the damn Yankees. That's the Ron and Fez show. By the way, we've just been handed a cease and desist. We cannot call ourselves the damn Yankees. Thank How goodness. about the Tim Machine, then? I don't think anybody was going to bother about that name. I don't think anybody will fight about it. Time, it's time for people to pick sides, because apparently that's what's going on here. And sand's been drawn. Uh, I mean, line's been sand, drawn in the sand. Line's been sand. <laughs> A line's been drawn in the sand. Yeah. And you could go with the Fez and Earl vagabonds, or you go with us. I know Splite Benefits and her uh, mom just came in. It's uh, quite a show today. Come on in, ladies. Maybe we can... Uh... See what they have to say. This is one of the girls that you're interested in. Anything happened with your chick last night after your rampage on the air yesterday? Yeah, it's over, basically. It's over. She what does said, that mean? Uh, she's just that I wasn't supposed to talk about the mandate that she gave me, yeah. where she said she gave me a bunch of rules not to talk about things on the air. And since I read it on the air, that's it. Flight benefits. You've got an incredibly hot mom. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's the thank hot you. mom show. Uh, so you came home last night. She yeah. was waiting for you? Uh, actually, I came home, and the first thing I saw outside was uh, a bunch of my Star Wars figurines all thrown outside in the pouring rain, just to show off how angry she was. And the fucked up thing about it is, it's my apartment, 
How yeah. can he throw my Star Wars Pez dispensers, figurines, and posters outside like that? And maybe this is a way of her telling you to grow up? Perhaps, but it's my apartment. I pay the rent. Yeah. So then we had just, you know, there was lots of sobbing things going on. You were sobbing? No, I w sure, but it was mainly from her side. Because his wookie got wet. Who's that? It's Fez. Oh, Patty. Fezzy. Uh, flight benefits, you're in here today. Uh, I guess you've heard everything going on with Dave. I did. What do you think? Is he best to end this or try to save it? I think you should try to save it. His relationship? He should yeah. end it. End it, right? End it. Thank you. Thank you for speaking. Clearly. Do you want me to call her? No, I don't on the want air today. No, I, I believe it or not, I want just closure. It gone. Yes. Wow, I don't believe it. Yeah. You were so broken up when she left you last time. Right, and then I, uh, I got just a bunch of people saying, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" And dare I say, yeah. I had a nice chat with a couple people named Anthony and his girlfriend Melinda. And they really, I think they, they, they led me down the right road. What? They led me down the right road. They say, what are you doing? I'm saying, it's we go going out six years, and I don't really think I'm going to marry this bra. What am I doing? I mean, are we just, are we boyfriend, girlfriend, or are we... Why do you got to listen to your la drinking buddies? Why can't you think for yourself? No, because they spoke in a clear way that I could understand. And I felt like they made a lot of really good points. And they made me realize I'm not necessarily content. I mean, we're really just we're 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 just kind of friends at this point. She's only over two or three days a week. We watch Idol and go to bed. That's some relationship for you, Mister B. Look, if you've heard from all your drinking buddies that you should get out of this, and no one no one's drinking buddies ever tells them no, you should go home and fix your life. Right, but I mean... I just say this. Anthony, I see you as a lonely, red-haired mess in the future. <laughs> I'm not, And man. she is going to find somebody fantastic, have beautiful babies that should be yours. Wait, I'm if not... she was buying the drinks, he would pay attention to her. Patty. He everything is... she said. Patty, please. This it's is why the me. XM callers are mad. This is why the XM, that kind of negativity. Right. But let me ask Flight Benefits Mom. What do you think you should do? He's been through it all. I think maybe uh, some counseling might help. That's a long time I don't, to throw away. That's such a mom answer. I, I it really, no, it's a good answer. I don't think I have the patience to sit there. What am I going to say? She makes me miserable. And when I get done with two radio shows, you know, I then have to defend myself for an hour to her. Well, maybe she doesn't like you talking about her or your life with but her on the air. But that's impossible to do. That's impossible. It's I like have to talk life. about her. What else am I going to talk about, for crying out loud? Your new girlfriend? Jamie? No, not me. <laughs> Listen, it's, it's, it's all hands on deck at this would point. You, would you be okay with him dating your daughter? Would that be a problem? I don't Is know. He... He's going to have to take his clothes off first. So I can all right, take your clothes off. off. Let right. her take a good look. Take him all the way take, off? Yeah, get him off. I mean, this is it's <laughs> a bizarre requirement. Yeah. Mom, cover your eyes. Why? She asked for it. Mom asked for it. Okay. Here's the oh, jeez. Oh, I don't know oh. about the tattoos. The, yeah, there are a lot of tattoos, and they're hideous, aren't they? Um, what, should I do the pants? Yeah, sure. <laughs> now, uh, all right, what are you That's wearing? Pajama bottoms? No, these are boxers, but they're made of wool, and they're quite comfy. I suggest anyone use them under, uh, with temperatures under 55 degrees. You really do look better since the day you got spanked on the air. You really have uh, the Matrix thing has worked out is for you. It, is your you tattoo look real good. artist yeah. one of your is my, buddies? Thank you. But is my stomach a little, it's kind of, it's flat? Turn around. Good. Turn all the way around. There we go. Nice yeah. crack. Uh, what's the, yeah, he's got the butt, he's sporting the butt crack. But what's the uh, weird tattoo on the right shoulder? It looks like... Uh, a throwing claw? That's <laughs> some kind of yin yang in a, in a snowflake. It's a, <laughs> in an Aztec sun. So are you? Oh, I'm sorry. You're from South America. <laughs> I didn't know your background. I listen. I got that when I was 18. I just thought it looked cool. So uh, that was a mistake. You know. Did you get that in jail? No, I've never. I've been. These all look like jailhouse tattoos, don't they? They're worse. Yeah, I've been arrested, but I've never been actual in, in the big house. No. Oh, are we going back to what you were arrested for? Yeah, no, I, oh, no, 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 no. You, we don't need to hear that no. again. Like, yeah. I, all I'm saying is I've been there, baby. But life experience, that would make me, you know, treat your daughter very well, I think. Yeah. It's just what I would think. 
Explain the meaning of the lucky Patty. tattoo. Patty. It's hurtful. Every time Patty Fezzy. speaks. Every fucking time Patty speaks, it's a dagger <laughs> in my heart, man. It's Fezzy, All right, Flight like... Benefits, are you dating anyone now? Yes, I am. Who are you dating? A pilot. Really? Oh. So, uh, Dave would be a scumbag compared to what you're used to. Well. Now, is it serious way. between you and the pilot? Yeah. It's been two years. And has anything ever happened in the air? With the pilot? Yeah. No, we've never really flown together. Oh, really? So where you just see him at that little VIP club that uh, they have? Yeah, it's called my house. No, keep it down. Keep it down. <laughs> I can't. I, can't. I, want, I want you to stay like that so Flight Benefits' mom can dig I you. I can't put my clothes in. back on. No, you're better off without it. I, I got Is he? There's yeah. a lot of people here I know. in the back. I know his big A outside staring at me. Of course he is. My son's out there, too. Is that your son as well? Nice yes. to see you. So the whole family's in. You guys uh, came in to visit? Uh no, they live here. Oh, and both I, live, I live in Ohio. In Ohio. Yeah. In Why? Sandusky, Ohio. Because um, I'm Good in the question. military, and that's where oh. I'm stationed. Whoa. Sandusky, Ohio. Wasn't that the uh, Tommy Boy? Wasn't that movie yes. done, supposed to be about? Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Thank you. So I'm going to get myself a star. Or Earl, go get me uh, a thing of stars and make sure I uh, get one. Uh, hey, Roger. Roger, you're on the... Uh, I can't think of another name, but it's, it's the Ron Fez show. And yeah. It is the Ron yeah. show. No, it's not. It's the tin machine now. Um, hey, uh, Roger, you're on the air. Yeah, hey, how you doing, Ron? Good, man. Hey, uh, listen, since uh, Fez likes to badmouth XM readers, how about if you just keep Dave on the show and you call it the Hero and Zero show? Roger, uh, you realize when you uh, got a radio on, you're not reading. I'm These sorry, are not. Right. <laughs> I gotta put my clothes on, man. Why? What's wrong? <laughs> Dude, family stopping by. <laughs> What's the problem with family stopping by and you're in your underwear? Come on. You're the one who wanted to take your clothes off. Now you're going to stay that way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh. I feel so. You should. Silly. You should, you should feel beyond silly. It's great. You should feel hideous. I love it. Roger, you're on the air. Oh, yeah, we already had you. You, you had a terrible call. <laughs> uh, here is, um,. David, David, you're on Fez. Yeah, I just want to talk to that redheaded fuck. Man, you couldn't hold a fucking candle to Fez. That's you true. It's in Ron's ass like it's it's fucking gold, man. You know what? That's you're true. You've gotten in my kitchen no, right man. now. No. And you're trying to separate me from Stalker no, no, Patty. No, 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 no. You're trying to break up me and Stalker I'm Patty. I'm trying to you make you see. I'm trying to make you see that Stalker Fezzy, whatever, is not loyal. That's I don't want you standing around in your underwear all day acting like that makes you uh, a performer. It does I, not. I show up for work. I don't call in when I have a slight case of laryngitis. I don't call in and take time off. That's what I do. Earl, are you going to put up with this talk? I'm loyal. I'm not going to put up with it at all. I mean, you got to... Fez is going through a rough time. You called What's in. What's his rough time now? Well, What's yeah. the latest rough time? We just, we just God bless you. dominated Broadway in Times Broadway. He should the be, hard rock. He should be up here tap dancing with glitter sticks and everything. And but, what are glitter off. sticks? Those things that you see in the uh, in sports arenas when they dim the lights and they have gl- glitter glow sticks. Uh huh. Glow sticks. Uh, They're not glitter. Okay. They glow. So be it. As for Daddy. Holding, holding the candle, I can hold a torch to him. Oh. <laughs> Daddy, what can we do for you? We lost you, buddy. Here's uh, Fritz. Fritz, you're on Fez. Hey, what's up, buddies? Hey, Ron, yeah. Dave, uh, Patty, how you doing? Fez, hey, you know my name. Oh, all right. Patty, you sound kind of hot on the phone, but anyway, uh, look, I need to correct Dave. He called earlier and said that West Side was complaining and throwing the stuff outside. Well, Dave really doesn't have a leg to stand on because uh, he doesn't pay the rent his parents do because he loses it all at the track. That was just two months of 12 months that I've been in Queens. Come on. My percentage of paying my rent is extremely I high. think you look ridiculous on the air today. You're in your underwear. I feel it. People are stopping right. by. I thought we were just going to unclothe children, me for a little like, bit. People's children are yeah, stopping by. I know. That's the real big one. That uh, hey, Stalker Patty. It's Fezzy. You know me. Fez Marie Watley, your partner. We really got to go back on and do a show. We can't talk to you all day. Well, then I'm coming down there if I have to, but I am not losing this show. I have Bronx Johnny on the door, and you will not be permitted in here. I will get in there if I have to. You will not be permitted. I do have short security. <laughs> Send me in short security. Uh, ben, Ben, you're on Fez. I am, buddy. Yeah. Ron, I think it's just go ahead and time to call rap. The Ron and Rap show needs to start. You know, as a matter of fact, I got a call from Rapper yesterday. I got to get back to him. 
I got to call that's, him. That's He's got some good. ideas. He's got some plans. Bugs, Johnny, I'm putting you on short security today, okay? I got you, Chief. Now, uh, one of, is Master Paul already left? Uh, no, he's still back there, so I got backup just in case I need it. Okay, if he gets past you, please have Master Poe stop him, because it does seem like it's a madman. No right problem. Now. They will not stop me. They won't stop me from getting in there. Then it doesn't sound like the bronchitis is bothering you anymore, stalker. I, Fezzy, but I will get up off of my sick bed and come in there if I have to. Uh, hey, bingo. Bingo, you're in Fez. Hey, have you noticed that Patty on the phone says more than Fez does in the studio? Yeah, why is that, Patty? I'm Fez Watley, and I'm going to talk because it's the Ron and Fez show. Tim Machine. Uh, yeah, we're now calling a Tim Machine. Uh, Jerry, you're on the air. Hey, uh, Ron, I wanted to ask the fight benefits, Mom, what does she do in the military? And uh, I also figured out your smoke pants if you want to know what, what I figured out. Well, let's go through one at a time. First of all, uh, what do you do in the military? I am a recruiter. Really? Do you think there's any way in the world that you would take Dave in? No, he's got too many uh, tattoos. Really? You don't like tattoos? No, you can't have them below your, uh, in my service, below your elbow. That's right. not what I was told when I was going to go into the military in like 2003. And the guy said that the, my below the elbow tattoos wouldn't disqualify me. Not in my military. What's your military? U.S. Coast Guard. Oh, Coast Guard, they're the best. That's the best branch, of course. Coast Guard, you actually, it's probably the most difficult thing to get into, right? Yes. Yeah. It's a lot of competition. Yeah. My brother was a chief. I'm a chief. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you and him should probably uh, do that thing that you do. So, uh, yeah, he, uh, he retired. He loved it. You would never be able to get in the Coast Guard. I would, no, I would love to. I love the open seas. Well, you don't go I, that far. Uh, you only go about 12 feet out. They really, if anything happens, you want to be able to come right back in. They never go over their head. Oh. So yeah, so if the if it sinks, you don't have to swim in the so coast. Be it. It's very that's, lucky. That's the old navy joke. So <laughs> the point is, I like the my water. old navy, great pants though. <laughs> but I, why don't we do this? Let's scrap uh, the Pink Floyd thing off your arm. Oh no, 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 no! This means welcome to the machine, you know. And I feel like Tim Machine, welcome to the Tim Machine. Exactly. Maybe this was a precursor to the radio show that's going to be on two hundred two. All right, uh, Patty. It says, but we'll, go ahead. We'll let you go. All right, I, I am coming down there then. Security will be awaiting if you attempt it. Bronx Johnny is not... By the way, you've never sounded stronger. This entire life a week is a lie. Phony. And it's coming out of your vacation. And it's not coming out of my vacation. I was legitimately sick. Did Wiki ever call you? No, I never heard from Wiki. All right, then he hates you too. Well, there's no reason for that. I've never had no nothing but love for Don Wiki Wicklin. Mm. All right, talk to you later, Patty. Fezzy. All right, we got to take a break here at Ron and Fez Show. It's the Ron and Fez Show on XM202. <laughs> well, that's cool, baby. I mean, you know how it is, rocking and rolling and whatnot. Coming from the Bronx. I couldn't believe it. Everybody came out to see me, Kathleen from the Bronx. It was so fucking cool, Ready B. I'm so, so scared, like busy, but I had another heart attack. I told Brian, Brian, get in here, because he just gave a pint of blood like a hero. Rory claimed that she was using a fake voice. Yeah, that she wasn't really from the Bronx. She's not old school. She's not kicking it with <laughs> Oh, I will, react. I will take you outside right now and beat the shit out of you. I kid you not, man. I was worried that the other T-Birds would be out there waiting for him, too. I thought she would be a pink lady, but she's moved <laughs> over and is hanging more with the T-Birds. Rocking and rolling. And whatnot. I'm not kidding. Fuzzy had the 40th ride today. I thought I was going to die. But boy, I could not believe it when this girl came up and gave me a bronski. I thought I was going out of my fucking mind. Where's Brian, Brian? Kick the shit out of this bitch, Brian. We just washed the hair. You know, I work on my hair a long time and you, and you hit it. He hits my hair. So you know what I like most of all, Ryder B? I was fucking dying when you were working your face. I was going out of my mind. I said, Brian, Brian, get in here. Well, he was too weak from giving blood. I don't know what to do, Ronnie B. Oh, by the way, if I see KOP again, I'm going to kick this shit out of him. That's yeah. what you call thinking, huh? Jesus Christ. It's the Ronnie Fez show. Uh, why give me cues that don't work? Why two people give me cues 
when it's not set up to go? <laughs> I already lost my partner today. I'm ready to rain shit down on you guys, just so you know. I hear you. And you're standing in your underwear in front of yeah. people, which I have a problem with as well. I know. I think I should get close. Well, now let me talk to uh, XM uh, Programming Chief. I don't know all people's titles. It's Don Wiki Wicklin. So we've taken the Wicklin and we've shortened it for Wiki. Uh, Wiki, how are you, sir? I'm great, Ron. How are you? Well, you know, it's one of those crazy days, one of those crazy days in radio. I just got out of a meeting. Earl calls. What's going on? Uh, from what I understand, you can just look on DCR TV. Look up DCR TV right now. All right. Hold on a second. Yeah. Ben's gone. Yeah. It's already hit the rumor rags, as they say out there. Fez Watley left the show. So when did this happen, this morning? Yeah, I guess it happened uh, this morning. Here's basically what he uh, said to me. Uh, he's tired of the fucked up XM listeners. Oh, okay. And doing show for these people, it's like trying to do a show for a pile of shit wearing headphones, which I have a problem with. That goes too far for me. So obviously he's feeling better than... Monday and Tuesday. Apparently, he wasn't sick at all. So I no, do really? want, yeah, I do want you to dock his pay for that as well. So does that explain why he hasn't called me back since I've called him every day? <gasps> wow, more lies. I had no idea. More he lies. He said you'd never once try to call him. No, I've called him every single night. As a matter of fact, he said this to me: Don Wiki Wicklin is an ill-begotten son of a bitch. And I don't even know what that means. It sounds very old school. So I don't know what you do about this, whether you get a hold of lawyers. I don't know what you have to do. I've got two people in the door right now. I've got security lined up to keep them out of here because I'm a nervous wreck. Is he planning on coming down? I heard him say two things. Number one, I'll Columbine your ass. And number two, I'll turn XM into Waco 2007. Number two sounds worse. Yeah. And, Earl, he said, who gave blacks the right to vote? What? I yeah. Mean, that, that's been in place for... Oh, and I forgot to years. tell you this, Dave. Oh. He said, no dogs, no blacks, Earl, no Irish. No son, no son of a bitch. Yeah. That's what you are then. Oh, yeah. And I forgot to tell you this, too, Bronx Johnny. He said, Ecuador is like Puerto Rico without a beach. Oh. That's cool. He's still got a well, good dog. Ice. got something for him. Yeah, that one I agree with, too. Yeah, yeah. And who else is in here? I forget. Well, there's Pepper. And I'm oh. sure he didn't say anything about Pepper. He, Yeah, here's what he, he said it? about Pepper. He's a downloading movie thief. He's a downloading movie thief. I've never done that before in my life. I don't know what he's yeah. talking about. Gee, we... So I don't know how to deal with him, Don. Well, this is interesting because uh, I would expect that by now he would have uh, at least called us back. H have you talked to him before now? Probably I talked to him. And I asked him to call Eric Logan, and he says to me, and I quote, Eric Logan's got his mouth on a, on an ass pipe. I'm sure That's he won't it. have time to talk to and me. And I'm sick of it. Yeah. Don't, if he tries to come through, I yeah. might try and stop him. Right. I ain't getting out of this chair oh. under, under hellfire. And then, then this is what he, yeah. I don't know what that means. Then he, I said, what about the XM serious merger? He goes, That's all we need. The Jews driving the cart. Unbelievable. The anti-Semitism and the blacks and the dogs. And why attack Ecuadorians? Well, they're easy. Oh, we let that one go. Yeah, let that one go. It, it's, it's, that one doesn't matter. And people want this guy. People miss this guy. Yeah. I mean, can people he understand? He's a friendly guy. The Tin Machine is red, white, and blue. By the way, we're calling the new show The Tin Machine. Try to get that out to the rags as quick as you can. Ooh, like because it worked for uh, David Bowie and um, Soupy Sales Children. So what's next, Don? A raise for me? I don't know where even where to go from here. I'd think some kind of compensation. Well, at least we have to rename the show. Mm-hmm. Tin Machine. That's the plan. It's just you, the yeah. Ron Show. Right. Mr. Wicklin, if you need some money for Mr. B, you can just take three points out of my paycheck. Wow. There's that's next. that's what I'll do for you. 30 bucks a week. Dave, thanks anyway, but you don't make shit anyway, so don't worry it about it. It is true. He doesn't make shit. You didn't give him a raise last time either, did you? No. That cracked him up. Want me to just announce how big mine was so we can all laugh at him? <laughs> I hope you don't. Yeah. All right, so uh, th thanks for... And 
I guess we better get something out to the uh, you know DCR TV to let them know. Tim uh, machine in hey, the you house. Know what? Let me, uh, it's all Tim machine me, uh, from this some point calls. on. Let me do some emailing. I'll take care of that now. Yeah. All right, Wick. It was good talking to you, buddy. You too. Talk to you later. All right. Bye. Sometimes it's uh, it's great when something happens like this to have middle management come by and settle you down. But because I'm furious. Yeah. You should be. Yeah. You know, you've been stabbed in the chest and in the back. Right. Double Front stabbings. Yeah. Uh, what he said about you and what he said about Earl. I didn't even uh, get into what he said about me. I don't even want to say it. And Earl's got this guy's back, huh? Yeah. Over, Way to go, Earl. Over ten machines. Way to go, step and fetch it. Jeez. Can I tell you something, Earl? Yeah. You're a fucking throwback, okay? You're a throwback. I'm not a throwback. That's what according to er, uh, the Fez. He actually said that about me. Here's what he said. He goes, he can't produce a show, but let's put a rag on his head and put a picture of him on a, a syrup. He did not call me Aunt Jemima. No. Oh, I didn't even think he meant that. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though. Aunt Jemima. He did not say it. He did not call me a, some type of mammy. I am not a... a I don't know. <laughs> I am not a Hattie I McDaniel. do miss you, mammy. I do. I, I mean, seriously, Manny. Choose the right side. Yeah. D and don't call me Manny. No, he Just called you what? Mammy Davis Jr. <laughs> and he goes, that one-eyed, and I'll say, I'll just say what he said. That one-eyed buck better stop sniffing around here. Oh, my. Now my blood's starting to boil. You I mean, should. But I, I stood up for the guy. Why did you? Because, I mean... Because it seemed like the right thing at the time. He, what's he made an off-color remark about his heart, and now he's calling me dead. Off-color, get it, Earl? Yeah, get it, Mammy. Stop calling me Mammy, and I'm well, not. I can't believe that's a brand right now. That's a brand that you're trying to live with. I want Bronx Johnny high on I-57 and walk in the perimeter. Perimeter. I want him seriously. I want to turn this whole thing into Vietnam. I want you to set shit up, wire everything. I'm a nervous wreck right now, because I know Fez will come in blazing. Yeah. And Mammy won't stop him. Mammy, yeah. you got to. Mammy always has a bad Mammy, shoulder, a bad something. You stop Mammy, Mammy, protect Mammy. your suckers. <laughs> I, I am highly... I mean, Fez called me a Mammy? I don't know whether he said that. He said it, I said it, it doesn't matter. The point is it got said. I mean, I know he's from Florida and all. And they all right, let's not attack that state, all right? It's the only thing that separates us from Cuba. But he, up and he called me Mammy. Now, and me saying he's from Florida is an insult? In a way, it is, Earl. The way you say it, it's intent, really. It's yeah, intent. there's Floridians. Because when he said Mammy, he was laughing. And when you said Florida, he had a scowl on your face. But, but he, was laughing at, he was laughing at me. He wasn't laughing as if, you know, as if you were making a joke. He P was... Hey, people from Florida like pancakes, too. I understand that, but they don't. But you don't make derogatory remarks about someone's skin color and, and their way to... Who says derogatory? That, that is derogatory. We haven't had mammies in, in, since the Civil War. Huh? <laughs> How old are you? That you remember these things. He is so old. Isn't he? Old, old Man mammy. River. <laughs> old Mammy. <laughs> Doug, Doug, you're Ronnie Fez. Hey, Ronnie, I, I'm really sorry how things have happened here. Uh... You know, I mean, you've been wearing this crown of thorns for a while. I mean, right. I've actually just started calling you St. Bennington. But really, Fezzi has become, you know, your Judas. Well, I've always wanted my own Judas. I saw Fez counting 30 pieces of silver outside a couple of weeks ago. You know who you are? Who? You're my Paul. Thank you. Or should I make you Peter? I prefer Peter. But... Okay, Peter. Uh, Bronx Johnny, you're Paul. Yes. Uh, Earl, Mammy, and... Why I have to be mad? I am not Mammy. Why would you even yell that out? Uh, John, you're on Fez. Hello? Yeah. How, how's it going? I'm here to quickly replace uh, Mr. Fez because I suffer from panic attacks. I'm pretty much replaceable, unreliable, and I won't contribute much to the show. Bronx Johnny, is everything okay out there? Watch the perimeter. So far, so good, Chief. Don't fucking fall asleep on this job, Johnny. Okay? This isn't the loading dock. This is XM Radio. I mean, I love that they're here, but still. Yeah. <sighs> Mammy, keep an eye on things, too, please. I am, stop calling me Mammy. That, thing, that kind of name will stick. You think? 
Jacob, you're on Rana Fez. Oh, would you prefer Mrs. Dorf? What? You fell apart on your joke. I think what he tried to say was you prefer Mrs. Butterworth. No, I do not prefer Mrs. Butterworth. I am not a big black woman with a with a dress on and serving pancakes. Three out of four, though. Which one isn't pancakes? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing. And I would. Do we have any pancakes? No, we do not. All right, just give me a waffle. I'm starving. Uh, Patrick, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Ron. Patrick from his bad Art of the Topless. What a job they did for us the other night. Thank you. Yeah. And thanks for having us out. Uh, it was great to see you guys. It, it was a lot of fun. And, you know, I, I thought Fez was just kidding at the end of the night when he said he was talking about leaving because he wanted to tour with us. I know. I, 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 I think the crowd just, he, like, the crowd... The crowd exploded for him, and they, it blew him up too much. It went to his head. Everything, yeah. And, and But the thing is, they were clapping for everybody. They were clapping for Mammy when he sang uh, the song from Dream Girls. Yeah, they clapped for me. You know, they chant, right. They chanted for me. They chanted, East Side Dave, you so handsome. And that's why you left your girlfriend. No, time. no, that's not the reason why. The main thing is, there's only one Benedict Arnold here. That's st uh, stock. I mean, Fez. What are you talking about? I was going to say you find yourself in the show spotlight and get a little panicked. Fez, what can we do for you, Patrick? Well, I, I, I'm just shocked. I mean, you know, you're right. Everybody else got, you know, a huge warm response from the crowd, but he's the only one who decided, you know, that's that it. Happen. I gotta, I gotta seek that reaction on the road. Yeah. All right, my friend. Thank you for calling. Uh, we do have our first gig lined up, by the way. Where are you? We're going to be at F.H. Riley's, mm -hmm. and it's going to be on April 7th. All right, April 7th. That was 7th. just confirmed like an hour ago. Fantastic. Let me uh, write this down on the calendar, and then I'll keep plugging it for you. I, I, you know, who knows? Maybe Fez is going to show up there. Oh, I don't I, know. I'd love to see it. Best of luck to you well, guys. It, 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 if he does, do you yeah. want me to, like, do anything to, you know, kind of... You know what? I want you to treat him like a gentleman. Because I got no hard feelings. Wow, gracious. Uh, Fez and I were partners for almost two years. Yeah. I believe it was 20 months altogether. Wow. So this is, you know, I, I you know, I only want the best for the guy. I guess I'm taking the high road. Well, it's class. You know, it's, it's, it's all high road It's something me. that Team Bennington does right. and does it well. Right. You're I don't like to talk about be, behind uh, people's backs. Right. Although I did say the names that he called all you people as well as the listeners, which is the fucked up XM listeners. And it's like doing a show for a pile of shit with headphones on. Unbelievable. And the funny thing is, that was the only time I couldn't... Wait, it's things at the door. What the hell is this? No, no, keep him no, out. Keep him out. Keep him out. I do not no, come no, over no, here. Get out. Do not get in my seat. Do not get him out. Go in and try to come over Don't listen to his Spanish. Do not get in my seat. Get the fuck out of here. It's a fucking TV machine. It's a fucking TV machine now. Easy. Get him down. Punch him in the stomach, Pitts. Uh, yeah, Fez, all right, F Dave, sit down. Fez, I, take two steps back. Take two steps back, and now lock the door. Lock the door behind. Lock the door. Lock the door. That's sad, Sep. Lock his ass out. All right, Dave, calm it down. All right, you've never really been part of a bit before, so you don't know how they work. And oh, yeah. You went a little over the top there. All right, give him a microphone out there. Abre la puerta. Let me in the door. I speak English. Oh, yeah. I'm not Bronx Johnny. Not Ronnie. Now I'm here. I am here. Let me in. You've locked the door. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. I have a microphone. You can hear me. No, I don't have headphones on. Put, Ronnie, put on headphones. Put You've got a headphones. dick in your ear? I can't tell what he's saying. I don't know. It's not yeah. English. Dave does have headphones on. Let me in the studio. No. Studio? <coughs> studio. That's the studio? He wants to hear old Phil Collins. No. No, don't do that. It's coming up. No. Let me in the studio to do my show. Tin Machine? No, the Rod and Fez show. I'm the fuzzy part of the show. I don't remember him. That show's Let over. You had, you had 21 months. It's a new time now. I'm coming in the studio. I am. You relax. It's, I, I want to do what's best for you. Where's Bronx Johnny? He's out Bronx gone. Johnny's out here. Tell him to get some kind of a dart gun and shoot Fez in the neck. <laughs> Fez, Bronx settle Johnny, down, down until you feel something uh, hurt your neck. What was that? You just settle down 
Let Bronx Johnny aim something at your neck. No, I don't know what it could be. It could be a heroin needle, knowing him. Well, if it was, we wouldn't be giving it to you. I need back in the studio. I want to do the show, Ronnie. Yeah. Let me back in. I locked the door. I can't hear you. I don't have on headphones. Hold on. Here's a little something. I think this is what you wanted. This will maybe uh, settle you down, calm you. Yeah, remember this, Fez? Bill Collins? That's the studio. No, that wasn't what I was asking for. What's the name of this song? Yeah, you're right. Studio. Uh, this is. Why is it called that? You, I do feel calm now. Yeah, do you? It took a little fill. I'm sorry before, but he just he gets me upset. Well, so. you stepped all over his bit. That's the part that no. you don't understand. It's just that you he... don't understand. It was his time. Oh, it's his time to melt down. You don't melt down. You're inside. Yeah, I just wanted to protect this chair. Yeah. Bill Collins is not the answer to this. Well, it depends on what the question was. Just please let I me mean, back in. I mean, is the fact that Genesis can have hits without Peter Gabriel? Then Phil Collins is the answer. I guess Take him so out can... behind the kit. Let him lead. I guess that makes sense. But I came in. I didn't even stop to clean myself up. I came in from a sick bed. I smelled shit and puke. Was that you? It could be. I really rushed on my way in here. And I met three weeks ago when you were in here. No, that wasn't me. I mean, he looks tanned. He doesn't look sick at all. I just had to fight off an Ecuadorian to try to get in the door. Of course I'm going to have some color in my skin. Oh. Come on, let me back in there with you, Ronnie and Dave and Mammy. I just want to be back in there. <laughs> that, that now you confirmed you called me Mammy. That is true. What? That's where I heard it from. <laughs> and actually, the Aunt Jemima thing is not a bad gimmick for you. No, it isn't. It is not, I'm not wearing a bonnet and a, and a dress. And keep them out. Get your chair. <laughs> <laughs> you exhausted? Mammy, that's not like See, you. This is why I didn't want to do this. That's not like you. Now, what was wrong with your lungs? I have bronchitis. What happens there? My lungs, they're all filled up with fluids. Come? No, not come. I always thought he was gay. Yeah. No, it's like trying to walk around with two water balloons in your chest. Like you had a tit job. No, I didn't go get a boob job. I'm filled with fluid. Oh. Well, why don't you sit on the toilet and get it out? I want it. I want to sit in the studio. You've locked me out. Ronnie. Huh? Yes. That that is Stu Studio, not Studio. Dave's a moron. All right, thank you. I didn't think it was called the Studio. That's crazy. It was the same thing. The Studio. The Studio. Oh. What is a studio anyway? What's a Studio? We don't have a Studio. <laughs> we have a studio. That I should... And Dave is sitting in my chair. Tim Machine. Uh, Jimmy, you're on Fez. Hey, what's up, guys? Dave yeah. Holder, 451. Hi, brother. What's happening? Uh, I just thought it'd make, maybe it'd make Earl feel a little better if we just called him Uncle Ben. You want to go with that, Earl? Uncle Ben? You're the rice guy? I don't want to be named after any food products. He has almost as much gray hair. Old Man River. Mammy. Uh, old Mickey Rivers. <laughs> Uncle Ben, talk to those guys. Let me tell them to let me in. I thought you were sick this week. I am sick this week, but I came in because I was going to lose the show. Oh, don't worry about that. I saw it on DCR TV. I know. I wish that didn't happen. Yeah. Because now they won't believe us when we do need to get some kind of promotion out there. Call DCR Dave and apologize. I've been misrepresented. I need back in. I need my show back. I was sick, but now I'm better and I'm here. Why don't you do this? You see the couch behind you? Yeah. Sit there. All right. And just feel like an outsider. No. By the way, turn around. That's Flight Benefits' mom. She came in. She's oh. a coastie. Oh, hi, Mrs. Benefits. How are you? <laughs> Good to and see you. And that's her brother, too, Josh. Oh, hey. Hey, Josh. How are you? Hi, Flay. <laughs> Everybody. I never realized how uncomfortable this chat. This what couch was. What if we did a Fez Watley, This Was Your Life, where we get a bunch of people that Used to, you know, be fans. And this is all you rounded up? Yeah. <laughs> the Flight Benefits family? They're good people. See, that's him shitting on <laughs> listeners again. I know. You Not know? literally. <laughs> Just verbally. You literally have shit on at least one listener I know of. Well, that was an accident. Was it? That was another time I was sick. You crouched and you were giggling. Things happen when I drink. And don't you always. All right, should we take a break here? Let's take I don't know a break what to do about Fezzi him. Can we let him back in? I roll with Mr. B. If you, because you've been classy this whole thing. I say I'm gonna yes. leave it up to Mammy. 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 
Mammy. Do we bring him back? Mammy. Oh no, he keeps calling me Mammy. I was the one guy who defended him and he shit on me. I can't. Why right back to the shit on thing? We just did that. I mean, he was, I mean, you ever have a thought of your own? I, I have plenty of thoughts of my own, but it, the man insulted me. The uh, one guy who defended me insults me. No, you know what I'm thinking. The one about guy this. that defended me insults me. Doesn't even make sense, does it? As much as I love Tim Machine, if sure. Fez promises never to get sick and leave us again, I know the fake sick never sucks. gets sick again. Then he, I think he should come back. And what somebody saw you with mother. Somebody saw you at the East River with a fishing pole. No, I was not fishing. That's what our spies reported. If you promise, just don't get sick ever. All right, I promise. I'll never get sick again. And that means the big sickness, the one that people thought you had. Oh, I, I'll definitely swear off of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just let me back in to do my show. All right. Thank you. Come on in. Thanks. Gracias, French Johnny. Take your seat. That's my chair. Get out of there, tasty. All right, All right take your seat. Bye-bye, Fezzy. Bye. 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 What? What now? Now what happened? Where did everybody go? Why did everybody leave? Well, I don't understand. I thought we were going to do the show again. Come on, we're Tin Machine. Guys? Guys, we're Tin Machine. What's going on? Now I don't even hear the Phil Collins music anymore. Someone took the Phil Collins music. Where's Ronnie and Dave? Where's Mammy? Somebody come back in here. I mean, I'm sick. But I came all the way back in to do the show. I got off my deathbed so I could do the show. Should we take a break? I think we should probably take a break and regroup here. That might be the best thing to do at this point. Because I've been out all week. You know, my bearings are a little off. You know, I'm not really set. You know, I'll, you know my headphones, someone's been using them. So those are off. So maybe we'll just take a little break and we'll come back. Or should I stretch? That doesn't make any sense. All right, well, still, we should uh, be hearing from Mikey Boy, I guess, about um, uh, his American Idol update. That should be going on. You know, I hope I'm not relapsing here as I sit here behind this microphone. It's it's a little hotter in the studio than I thought it would be. Um, I didn't bring my medicine with me because what had happened was I had rushed right out the door. I was being confused with Stalker Patty earlier, and I really had to come in here and set some things straight. So, but I am back. Don't believe everything that you see on DCR TV. So, and, um, and I don't know what Wiki's talking about was saying he called me every day. I never heard from that man. And we, we were as close as, you know, girl cousins. And, uh, and I never, I never heard from him all week long. So now, I mean, I spent all week alone. And now I'm still in, and now I get back here and I finally get in the door. They finally let me in. And I'm still alone. I'm still all by myself. I could really use some help. What? Yeah. Stretch? To what? I don't understand. Huh? Dig? Surf? Swim? Stretch? Stretch and swim? Float? Something? Talk? Ring a bell. Something. Something rings a bell. Something. All right, so... I'm just in here by myself now. I guess I have to make up for four days of being sick and being off. I want to, you know, thank everyone who came out to the Hard Rock Cafe last Friday. I appreciate that. And uh, everyone, you know, uh, felt really good. It's just the problem was, what happened was, just, you know, hi to everybody who might be listening is all I want to say. Hmm? And, uh... So I just, you know, I just thought I had a really good time. My problem was I have weak lungs. 
That's my problem. Uh, my respiration, probably not what it should be. Probably not back at 100% right now is a problem. Um, what happened was that the Hard Rock Cafe uh, went out there and uh, finally I submitted to what you people wanted. I, I performed It Makes Me Fez. And uh, after that, just le left it all out there is what happened. Just left it all out on the stage. Just, you know, uh, raw lungs. Raw lungs is basically what it was. Got sick over the weekend, got a little sicker, and uh, ended up in a doctor's office with bronchitis. Oh, I thought someone was coming back in to talk to me, not to just get a pen. I would have appreciated that. What? And, uh... So, uh, ended up in the doctor's office, got really sick Sunday. You know, uh, the Oscars had a great time at Ronnie's house for the Oscar party, and, uh, you know, but probably shouldn't have dragged myself out there. You know, it was pretty much worth it to see Eddie Murphy lose, but what happened was the respiration, the breathing, the coughing, it all just got worse. So I ended up in the doctor's office, just, you know, got there somehow by a miracle of God. Got myself to the doctor's office. Somehow, some way, got myself there. I don't even remember going at this point. I must have gone because I got some prescriptions and stuff. Had to wait forever to get those. And, uh, and then, you know, started what I called the road to recovery. Just start, you know, um, basically what I was trying to do was uh, just, you know, work my way back and... Felt a little stronger every day. Wished I could have been here. Wished I could have... <coughs> See? Oh, there's a little bit of that cough still lingering. So the bronchitis, it, it lingers. It's its a hidden killer, really. And, uh, you know, once you get the bronchitis, you're really going to be stuck with it for a while. You, it's, it's, it stays there. And, you know, what happens is it, it festers in your lungs... And, uh, you know, now you're more susceptible to it. So it could come back again next year. And um, I understand Elo's pissed off. I don't know why. Uh, I've done nothing but give and give and give some more to that man. So I don't understand why he would be pissed off. So uh, I've been taking my antibiotics and my cough syrup with codeine and really trying to work my way back up to uh, full strength. Just to uh, get back in here and do what I could. Great stuff. Uh, everybody's yeah. loving it. Oh, thank you. How are you feeling? You don't look so well, to tell uh, the truth. No, I feel all right. It's just warm in here. It's really, Melinda's really warm. Melinda's crying. You made her cry. Aunt's worried about you. Everybody's all upset. Oh, I didn't mean to make anyone upset. I'm fine. Well, they're just worried that the first thing that you've done is come in and start talking about your health. Oh. And it's really... That's not about to tickle funny bones. Oh, uh, that was my problem. I didn't have anything else from this past no, week. No, it is. I like the part about uh, uh, yeah, your lungs filling up with mucus. Ants got everybody out drinking today. It's one of those days. Wow, those days are coming more and more often, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. 